Welcome, everybody, gather around, gather around, and join the Red Hunya for another Jurassic Park Series 1 Kenner Toy Review. I know this is one people have been waiting for, for, uh, some time now. I've been kind of sketchy about doing this because this is such a huge box. I can barely even fit this on this damn screen wherever I put this. But I'm not going to spend too, too long on the box for you guys, but I just want to show you that I do have it. And, yeah, it's just the electronic command compound. This thing is a huge box. Gigantic. But, here we go. For anyone that wanted a review for the electronic series one command compound, let's get this going. Unbox. It comes an electronic computer with over a hundred phrases, dino damage gates, walls and windows, fence alarm system, net and missile launchers. This set was awesome. It comes with quite a few pieces. I'm not sure exactly how many pieces total it comes with. Here's just a little top of the box. My box is really beaten up on this. It just shows you a little bit of the stuff you can do. Toys R Us. Blah, blah, blah. Dino damage gate. And then just kind of a little quick thing on the back showing all the stuff that this comes with and a computer with over electronic computer with over 100 phrases press any button for security alert dinosaur tell your hatchery report you have your net launcher your catwalk the whole command compound with the crow's nest and the top and the gate which some of the other Jurassic Park series 1 vehicles by Kenner can fit through so Thing on the back. The back of the box I have on this is a lot more worse condition. It's got tape all over it. But for what it is, the whole box is held together. It still even has the proof of purchase right there. But uh, the box condition doesn't really bug me. It's, it's just nice to have the box. I don't really care too much for the box. But as always, if you do have it, it's nice to have. If, if not, then don't really worry. It's not a huge deal. But it's just the box. So let's get this open and see what comes inside here. We really do care. If you have any questions, please call 1-800-327-8264. Or write, include name, address, and phone number. Kenner Products, Customer Service, P.O. Box 200, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. I'm coming for you, Hasbro. I'm coming for you. Everyone should be writing to this number and or Hasbro. I mean, we really do care. Uh, my ass you care, Hasbro. My ass you care. I'm just kidding. But let's get this going. Alright, so let's get this going with what comes inside here. Get this little light stand. Uh, not really sure what this is. It's just kind of a thing. You get Pretty sure you get two of these, but I have three for whatever strange reason in here. You get this other standy gun thing. Not sure. Do whatever you want with it. Uh, not really any options on here. It's kind of just... There you go. It stands. Same with this missile gun, which would be later repainted again for the Jurassic Park 3 Raptor Attack playset. But uh, this missile... Goes right into here. And it's pretty standard Kenner, you'd kind of expect. You press this orange button here to fire the missile. Really cool weapon. As always, if there's always missiles, it's always cool. You get this net launcher, which uh, you can stand on these. I'm not going to put these in, but you guys can imagine. This, uh basically stands on these. There are, they are kind of a pain in the ass to get out once you snap them in to there, so I don't want to put them in at the moment, but they go in there and stand up on this net launching platform. This piece again would later be repainted for the Raptor Attack playset, but this is the first time we originally got it. So it looks like a little pressure gauge there, 100% danger this piece just locks down like so 
You take this net with the little weights, droop it over like that, pick this up, and then you press this orange button to launch this net. Ooh, not fire straight down. So you gotta have really good accuracy to be able to hit one of the smaller sized dinosaurs or hatchlings with this tiny net. It's got four weights on it, so really nice. You get six pieces of electrified fence, 10,000 volts, just like in the movie. These fence pieces were awesome. Uh, but like most Jurassic Park fans, six fences or six pieces of this fence wasn't enough if you were trying to build your very own Jurassic Park in your backyard. For all you super fans out there, you know what I mean. You can't have enough of these. Six is not enough. You could have a hundred of those fence pieces and it would just be awesome. And you get the classic Jurassic Park gate here. Very nice. That connects into the fences or the fences connect into this. Like so, like so, the fences connect, can connect to this and you can build off this and build off your gate and make your park however way you want. The fences also attach into the, ma the main compound, but so you can attach fences on both sides right there and there. The Jurassic Park text. This is what it looks like on the back. Gate closes. You take this breakaway dino damage wood. Strange that uh, park with dinosaurs, they were using uh, wooden planks like this to or help barricade some of these doors like so. But a cool action feature with that piece of wood is that is you can have like a dinosaur or something break through the gate like that and oh no! So that's the gate. Doors can swing both ways, in or out, but uh, it's better if they swing outwards because they open up more. So I think they're meant to swing out like that. And you can fit some of the old Kenner vehicles at the Bush Devil Tracker and Jungle Explorers through there, and any other smaller vehicles. So really nice. It's got these flames here on top, these little plastic flames that are missing a decent amount of time because they fall out of there like that. So, yeah. <clears throat> so moving on now to the main part of the whole set, the actual command base right here. It's gigantic. I'm having kind of trouble fitting it here on my camera and my reviewing area here. Just due to this piece is huge. This is a huge play set, and especially for a Kenner piece back in the day. So I have a Dennis Nedry, a Series 1 Dennis Nedry with his hatchling just for a stand-in so you guys can kind of see or get somewhat of an idea of the size of this play set. Let's take a look here quick at the inside if I turn this around for you. So here's the command compound from the inside. Uh, really awesome. Comes with this hatchery right here with these egg things that you can take off. Most of the time these are missing. It comes with four. Two of them are supposed to be a kind of a hatching egg with like a triceratops almost. And then the other two. And then the other two are just supposed to be uh, eggs that have not hatched yet, but look like they're about to hatch because they have some cracks in them. So these just sit right here on these pegs. This hatchery piece is really cool. This top piece just spins. This is in two separate pieces. So this top piece can kind of just spin around. Biohazard, USGPG, EK3, whatever the hell that means. Uh, yeah, so this hatchery is really cool. Dennis Nedry, you can reenact Dennis Nedry stealing the dinosaur embryos from this. So nice to see that in toy form. That Kenner went into that detail. We never... This would be the first and only time we've ever seen like a hatchery or an egg hatchery like that from the first movie. And if we come over here to this side, we have this piece that I think was supposed to have electronic sounds when you press this in, but mine doesn't make electronic sounds, so this gun 
piece or whatever uh, that's attached into the main computer it just kind of sits over here for looks now on mine but the computer right here get ready for some 90s awesome sounds there's four buttons and I'll pr go through and press them all it comes with a bunch of different phrases and stuff you press I love how that light flashes when up here when you press some of the buttons. Rent. Check DNA and check loaded files now. Dinosaurs. Security check. Dilophosaurus. Triceratops. Stegosaurus. Raptors. Pteranodon. T-Rex. Dimetrodon. Steel devices. All dinosaurs secure. Power. Rip out. Check all fences and hatchery. <laughs> So the sounds it makes, uh, I guess for its time, were really cool, but now it's uh, slightly a little bit dated. They're really 90s electronic sounds. I don't really know how else to explain it. If you know what I'm talking about. Once you press these buttons and start messing around with this, though, eventually this thing has like phantom sounds and will randomly just go off. But after a while of not touching the buttons, I think it eventually just shuts down. But a lot of the time this computer is broken inside here, or the electronics are broken in it, so... Really like how Kenner went into the detail to like sculpt all these dinosaur bones in on the inside and around the outside of the entire compound, you can see. The entire way around the compound, Kenner did like these dinosaur bones. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what this command compound is supposed to be. It's supposed to be the visitor center from the first movie. Uh, I don't think you really need me to tell you that. But a considerable amount of dino damage on this playset, which was what was Operator, really... please log in. Shut up! A considerable amount of dino damage was on this. This catwalk piece could pop off. There's one piece. This piece over here. For the egg hatchery lab pops off. And this wall piece breaks off over here. Revealing the inside of the computer. And also, this door piece. I don't really consider this dino damage, but I guess it could be counted as dino damage over the catwalk pops out on the top. And if you really want, the top of this can come off too. It just kind of rests up there. Kind of just sits up there. That's really pretty much the inside of this entire playset. Really awesome in this catwalk that goes around the entire thing. You could have figures on. And then this crow's nest that you could have a figure hide up here. I'ma steal all your embryos, John Hammond, and oh god, it's the pressure to ever! So lots of playability options this playset offers with all the dino damage breakaway parts, the fences, and basically everything. I mean, you guys don't even really need me to tell you all this common knowledge stuff. I mean, if you're a Jurassic Park fan or a Kenner fan, you probably already know this set, or maybe even perhaps have this set. Lots of great features and playability options. I'm gonna go steal your embryos, John Hammond. I'm gonna steal your embryos. Oh, and I'm curious if it was a T-Rex. Oh, God. Oh, the carnage. Oh, Dennis Nedry. So if I rated this thing, I'd give it a 5 out of 5. It's a really awesome piece. It also receives the awesome seal of approval. <laughs> this piece is deemed the awesome seal of approval and should be in every and any Jurassic Park fan's collection. Even if you're not hugely a fan of the Kenner stuff, if you lean towards more Hasbro, but this Kenner set right here, play set, is really, uh... I'm maybe even going to say it's probably one of the best Jurassic Park play sets to date, still. It set the bar back in the day and still has yet to be beaten. 
So and if you're wondering how much is it to find a command compound now, nowadays it's quite hard to find complete with all the parts. Being that there's so many breakaway dino damage parts that you can see here. And like the little blue eggs that are missing a lot of the time. So just lots of pieces. So, but as all of you should know that more pieces just means it's harder to find now. Even though this set is 20 years old, it's still kicking ass nowadays in 2015. Uh, Kenner really set the bar with this set and Hasbro and no other toy line has really uh, beaten this set in my opinion. So, thumbs up the video. Do you guys have your own command compound or are you looking for one or are you missing just a certain few pieces? Post in the comments and let me know. Thumbs up the video and tell me what you think of the Jurassic Park Series 1 Command Compound. This set is another classic Kenner piece that's just, it has nostalgia raining all over it. I mean, I can't even like put some of these things into words. I don't even know how. But all you old Kenner fans, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is just a really awesome set with so many features and... It, even, it has the Jurassic Park gate. So yeah, definitely check it out if you come across it. It's kind of hard to find with all the parts nowadays and should fall in the price range of $100 to $150. I'm quite sure it retailed for $50 back in 1993. But nowadays it's close to $100 or $150 if it has all the parts. But if you're not a completist and you don't care about all the parts, you might be able to find it for slightly cheaper. Uh, I don't know how much of a slightly cheaper price, but slightly cheaper, I would say. But if you're a completist, be known the price tag will probably be higher than incomplete. Well, hope you guys enjoyed my review for the Series 1 Command Compound. I do kind of apologize this set was just gargantuan so trying to fit all this on the camera was kind of a pain in the ass or for this filming area I was located in for right now but I hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned thumbs up the video subscribe share my content and there will be more Jurassic Park reviews soon thanks for joining me and until next time guys I will be seeing you take care